at South High School where tonight the Red Wings host Aswabanon in the homecoming game for 2007. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, as we look back here, Aswabanon looks like they got a pretty nice team. Yeah, they do and uh, we're talking number three in state. We're talking a team that's been traditionally a powerhouse in the state. Uh, South. One good thing for them is they're playing at home, they're undefeated at home. They haven't played very well on the road, but here at, at South High, they've been doing very well, and they're going to have to do well to beat this Ashwabanon team. Oh, one thing they say, you know, one of the things they say about football is a, a good defense can sometimes be your offense. If South can control the ball, keep it away from them, that'll pay a lot of dividends. Well, let's go back to uh, Greg Schwartz from the beginning of the year. Everybody loves Raymond, and Ray is the guy. Ray is the key. Ray's going to have to have a big night against this team. You know, he, they talk about how good Ray is and things like that. Well, he's going to be tested with a very tough Jaguar defense tonight. But uh, we'll see. Ray, Ray's going to be the focus point. Believe me, everybody in the conference knows about Ray, and we'll see how he does. Uh, he's up to 786 yards this year already with eight touchdowns. So he's the best in the area. Let's see if he's the best in the league. Oh, one of the things, we know South High's got a pretty big football team. Uh, they don't quite match up with Ashwaubenon. No, I was looking before the game and I noticed that 18 players for Ashwaubenon are over 200 pounds, including nine of them over 240 pounds. That's a lot of spaghetti and steaks and things like that. South High has just eight kids over 200, so not only uh, is Ash Ashwaubenon good uh, on offense, which we'll talk about in a minute, but they, they got some big boys. Well, we talked a little bit about South's offense. Let's talk a little bit about Ashwaubenon and their offensive system. Well, they have a multi... Uh, uh, dimensional quarterback who can throw the ball and run the, uh, run the ball. He's a senior, Jody Van Lannen. And then they have two running backs they focus on, Ben Newhouse, and the other kid's name is, uh, uh, let's see, what's his name, uh, Workman? I think he played for the Packers, and he's a junior. And I the old saw man him. played for the Packers, not the kid. Uh, yeah, well, he may the way he is. I'll tell you what, his legs are about the size of a big giant uh, leg, or a uh, big giant tree, and they're just huge. He's got big legs, he's a big kid, and he's just a junior. Between him and this Newhouse kid, they carry the load for uh, Ashwaubenon. So South's in for a big night. I think one of the big keys, which I'll mention later on, is tackle, tackle, tackle. We got to get that Red Wing defense swarming to the ball like they used to be doing and if, when they had their successful years. If you want to have a successful year and get to the playoffs, you got to swarm. And tonight, one night, the Red Wings got to swarm. Before we sign off, Chris, I want to talk a little bit about John Kabai, the South High quarterback, because he's got some good stats going and he can be another part of that offense uh, if they're going to focus on Ray too much, you know, they got a quarterback that can do something. Yeah. South does. Yeah, and we said, uh, you know, you know, good passer and thrower on Ashwaubenon, and I think Kabai has shown that this year. He's got some receivers out there that can catch the ball, and he he's gets a lot of yards on the ground as well, and we're going to see that fake option and things to Ray Smith, and if he can get some seams in there between those big big guys of uh, Ashwaubenon, hopefully, you know, maybe he can spring some. But you're right, I think what key point is control the ball, and gosh darn it, swarm and tackle tonight. Well, Mr. Wilson talked to us a little before the game. He wants his son to get the ball. We want him to get the ball, too. With that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's football game. Kids are logged on or plugged in almost 24-7. Parents need to start early to help kids make good technology choices. But where do you start? Visit tunedinfamily.com. Get the tools you need to make sure they're plugged in to the values that are important to your family. Hey Kyle. What are you doing? We need to talk about your choice of games. Tunedinfamily.com. Helpful tools you can use for the good of your family. Two million seals and counting, killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. Energy prices are just too high. That's what drove us to attempt the first static electricity powered home. Success has been elusive. Besides making the house itself more energy efficient, the smartest thing we did was adding Energy Star products. Static electricity may not be viable. At least we've taken a step for our future. Anybody can make their home more energy efficient. 
Good night, sweetie. Good night, mommy. The United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. I didn't get any introductions about those guys, Chris, and I only got partial announcements for the Ashwaubenon guys. Jody Van Landen will start at quarterback, and uh, Ben Newhouse, number 22, and Vince Workman, number 34, will be their running backs. Their wide receivers are number 20, Kevin Holly. And number 81, Brent Steffel. Red Wings, I believe, will be uh, receiving the opening kickoff. Well, I had a couple of keys to the game. Uh, obviously, we touched on them. Ray Smith's got to have a big game. Tackle. Tackle on defense. Swarm to the ball. And uh, most importantly, we talked in the opening a lot about the size of Ashwaubenon. But, uh, you know... Play with a lot of heart, Sheboygan South. Create some little seams. You just need a li little burst of, uh, of a hole. I think we learned a lot from Sheboygan North last year. They weren't the biggest offensive line, but they created enough holes and things like that um, for their running backs to be successful. And I think the offensive line for Sheboygan South can do the same thing uh, for Kabai and for uh, Ray Smith tonight. Peter Moore will be kicking off. Moore will be kicking off for uh, Sheboygan South. Back deep to receive for Ashwabanon is uh, Newhouse and Workman. And homecoming game 2007 is underway. Workman has it. Hits it up, slips by a tackle at the 20-yard line, slips by another tackler, and he's finally pushed out of bounds near the 40-yard line. Wow, what a burst of speed. Well, he spun off a couple of tackles, and uh, that's what uh, you talked about at the beginning. They need to tackle, and they didn't do a very good job of it right there. Ash Wabinon comes in 5-0 five, five overall, 4-0 in, in uh, conference play. Sheboygan South 3-2, and 2-2 two, two and two in conference. Uh, one common opponent, Bayport, is the team. Ash Wabinon won 24-15. Uh, Sheboygan South last week dropped 28-7 loss. All right, first and 10 on the 37-yard line. They have two wide receivers off to the right. Hand off to the second back through. And he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and stopped. Good defense played by uh, the Red Wings on that play. Ball carrier was Newhouse, number 22. I think Reinbold was in there. Tell you what, uh, DePere and uh, Ashwaubenon had a pretty big game last week. Um, DePere lost that game 17-13. to uh, But I'll tell you what, Ashwaubenon has pretty much cleaned the uh, rest of the Valley Oak schools, they beat North 53 to 21, Preble 38 to seven, and East 27 to seven. The two toughest team as Wabana has played is Bayport and DePierre. McNeil and Steffel out wide right. High formation in the backfield. Pass on a slant is complete to the wide receiver, McNeil. Good pass from uh, Van Lannan. A little bit of cushion there by the Red Wings. Yeah, pick up of eight yards on the play. And Jags took advantage of it. Make it third and two. Wide receivers left and right for the Jaguars. And landing under center. Gives to the second back. It's all swarming and they're not gonna get it. Good job. There's our swarm. Newhouse again on the carry. Picked up maybe a yard, but it's gonna be fourth down. And Schwabenon had a nice set of plays there. Sheboygan South defense was just better. Back deep is Colin Johnson, number eight. Good snap, kick is away. Johnson is going to let it bounce, and it goes out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. It'll be first and 10 Red Wings. 
Well, good first uh, series of downs for South, Chris. They really did a great job. Yeah, they did. On the defense. No question about that. And there he comes, number 16, John Kabai. He's all black uniforms. Yeah, what happened to the red and white? And that's what I <laughs> said when I came up here. I'm glad I wore black and white, though, earlier with, with my shade of red underneath. I got my Badger stuff on. First and 10, Ray Smith alone. Uh, pardon me, there is another setback, and then dropping back in the backfield with him is uh, Steve Bakhti. Nice to have him back playing linebacker, and he can play some fullback. Hand off to Smith. Now nothing going on that side. And really swarming in there is Ash Wabanon, and he keeps giving up ground, and Smith gets through. He's at the 30, 35, 40, and out to the 43-yard line. Wow. He kept giving a lot of ground, Chris, but it worked. Wow. Watch it right here. Slips by one, two, and then he breaks loose. Hey, I got to congratulate the crowd here at Sheboygan South Homecoming Night. This place is packed and excited. Everybody wants to come out to see uh, their Red Wings put on a good show. And uh, that was a nice bit of uh, showmanship there by Ray Smith. 20-yard pickup. Makes it first and 10, Red Wings. Look at his speed. I'm a little concerned because he gave up so much ground, but it paid off. <laughs> Danny Diener in the backfield along with... Uh, well, let's just not see that much more tonight. <laughs> really. Off tackle, Smith uh, powers forward for a couple. There's a nice shot of Ray. Second down for South. Just give me a little holes, boys. Give me some holes. James Boutel up there. 280-pound junior, number 72. There you see Kabai coming into the uh, huddle. He just got instructions from Chris Korf, the offensive coordinator. Dropping back in the backfield is Bakhti again. They got a full house back there. Help Smith. Second back through. Smith pounding forward. Hits it up into Ashwaubenon territory. He was wiggling forward. Let's give it to him, but no, they want officially on the side. Says he's not going to good. Good burst of speed there. There's that hold. There's Boutel, 72, leading. And Bakhti driving that guy down, too. It's going to be uh, third down and about two yards to go. I'll tell you, they're loading up the backfield, Chris, giving him extra blockers and then giving it to him, and uh, that pays off. Yes. Third down and two. Goodbye, barks out the signals, gives it to the fullback, and he's dragged down by big number 96, Chris Vandervest. It's going to be close for the first down. I'll tell you what, he's listed at 225, but he looks a lot bigger than that. It's going to be awfully close. Bring him out. Jacob Bannock, I believe it was, on the carry. I think he's going to be a little short, though, Marty. There's right. Coach Hine. Decision time. Good chance. This is what you want. A measurement gives your coach a chance to make a decision. Does he want to go for it or not? Coach think, Hine and Chris Korf, the offensive coordinator, discussing it. They're saying, let's get it. Based on where the uh, spot is, I, you are correct. It was a little bit short by less than a half a yard. It's going to be fourth down. I just give it to Kabai. No exchange here. Just a quick snap when you're ready. Coming in to uh, help out with the blocking is Danny Diener. Ooh. But now they're going to take uh, some time to make a decision. Yep. Timeout south. See what they're going to do. I remember about four years ago, maybe it was five, but uh, we were at Oshkosh when the South was in the playoffs for the first time and they got to just inside midfield against Oshkosh and uh, we all thought he should have punted. Now it wasn't this close, it was a little little more and they didn't and Oshkosh went on and scored and went on to win the ball game. But uh, I think in this case, Let's go for it. I'm, it's like I'm, I was saying at the beginning, the offense is going to have to control the ball somewhat to take the pressure off the defense. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you, Marty. I will, I but agree. I also wouldn't give it to Ray. No, I'd have a quick snap, just give it to Kabai and let him find the seam to the right or the left. Go right up to, to the center here and whichever hole looks good, you know, whichever seems a little bit like there's a little bit of a gap for you there. That's why well, they got the clock rolling, so it's better get moving. Yeah, Ashwaubenon on basically a 4-4 defense. Play one safety and two corners, manning up. 
at that well, speed. Wide receivers left and right. Brunette out to the right. Smith being joined by Bakhti in the backfield. Second back through and Smith has got it. Well, good decision because you did have extra blockers when you give it to Ray. First down south on a nice play by the offense. Good decision by Chris Korf and Chris Hine there. Get that first down. That's a confidence builder. Big blocks there by Bakhti. Here's big number 97, Brennan Bull. He's a captain. He's also a defensive tackle nose guy. 250 pounder. First and 10 south ball on the 44 yard line. Kabai straight back looking. Hit and dropped in the backfield. A sack. Had to get rid of it a little quicker than that. They're not going to have a lot of time. Here you see it. Coming right up the middle actually from the opposite side. Second down for South. Kabai in the shotgun, drops straight Green. back. He's got it to Smith, picks up a nice block out there. He's barreling forward, he's gonna gain positive yardage all the way down to about the 36 yard line. So nice play by South to counteract that heavy rush. Nice block out there by big number 74, Calvin Wink. Yeah, good downfield blocking by the receivers as well, and we noticed that the last time we saw South. Their uh, wide receivers block, and that's, again, a credit to the coaching staff and the, the heart of those uh, Red Wing receivers to be downfield and blocking, creating that stuff, and that was a big gainer and another good call against, like you said, Marty, a hard-pursuing Jaguar defense. Makes it third and short. 12-yard pickup on that play. Third down and two. Bakhti drops back into the backfield. Diener in motion. Smith can't get by that one tackler, but he struggles forward. He's going to be near first down yardage, but they're, they will be short, and you got to expect they're going to go for it again. Yeah, Danny Diener went in motion, tried to draw some uh, of the Jaguars out, but, you know, I was watching, Marty. Not one of them moved or even went with him there. Uh, everybody stayed in tight. And uh, therefore, the, uh, you know, like I said, there wasn't a lot of areas for uh, Ray to run there. Once again, we got a fourth and one uh, on this opening drive. Well, you got to expect if they gave it to Ray the first time, they'll load up the backfield again and uh, give it to him. Or maybe they'll stay, take, well, now they're, Ash Wildman's really tight this time. All right, dropping back, a full house backfield for the Red Wings. And too much time, it's gonna be a five yard penalty. Oh, that makes it really tough now. Now I punt. Now you're too deep. Well, you're right, 40 punt. yard line. Punt and pin, punt and pin, good call. Oh, that hurts. Those, you know, it's early in the game, but you know, opportunities, <coughs> you gotta take advantage of them. Oh. Adam Weed is one of the uh, return men going back deep. There, there is you see nobody it. out here. Oh, now we got somebody coming over here on uh, Justin Renke. Good snap, and the kick is away. Bounces into the end zone. Jeez. Boy, South had it going. They're going to have to give it up. Slash Wabanon will have it first and 10 on the 20. Yep, that was key. Well, you move the ball, so that's a little confidence. You got your your your, uh, your big play there. Penalty kind of hurt you there, and too many uh, too many rolls on the old punt there. Workman in the backfield this time. First and ten. Wide receivers left and right. Van Lannen straight back looks, fires a rocket. Good defense played out there Woo. by uh, Charlie Rissy. Break up that pass. Woo! I think it was a P. Woo! Second down for the Jaguars.
Van Landen brings them all. Workman again, the lone set. Now, pardon me, he is a deep back. Fake to the first back. Little option play. Workman's got it. And South has gang tackling and push him back. Wow. You got to be impressed by that, Chris. Yeah, Bakhti over there. Watch, watch, the, watch the pursuit. What a play by Johnson. We'll be generous and give Workman a no gain. <laughs> He did lose a half a yard. Boy, did they come just streaming across the line on that option play. Well, third and ten. Pass defense is going to have to do it. Well, Chris Hine has got to be real happy so far with the way his defense has played. A lot of wide receivers, four of them, they have fake handoff. Here come the blitz. Yeah, Landon is not going to get it. He gets up to about the 34, and that's going to be it. Good blitz there by Hine. Good job. Watch the replay. Pressure all day. How many are you going to dance away with? Not that many. Making the big stop was uh, Dan Reinbold. Called his name now a couple times. Double guys back. Good decision here. Don't let that pickle roll. Give yourself good field position. Yeah, two wide, two uh, deep. People to get this punt. Oh no, get it. Gotta be quicker than him. Get it. Oh no. Ash Wabanon catch a big break there. Gotta field it. Looked a little bit like the Brewers last night. They couldn't catch anything either. Coming up with the ball was uh, Zach Savy. First and 10, ball on the 24 yard line of South. Boy, oh boy. They not only lose field position, they lose the ball. Well, I liked your idea, Chris. You know, get the ball and you know try to save field position, but it didn't work out that time. Newhouse back in the backfield, but Van Lannen fires a P right to the outside and he's got his receiver Steffel for the first down. And Billman slipped that time. Good thing he was on one knee. Here you see the drop back and the quick release. There you see Billman fall, and it's a good thing it was a low, low ball there because otherwise it would have been uh, six. Now, can't be fooled on that for later on for the old uh, curl and go. But uh, Ashwabanon's going to try to take advantage of this early turnover by South. And uh, they're in the red zone now. First and 10 ball on the 14 yard line. Pitch out to Newhouse. Tries to cut it back, but he's knocked down at about the 11 or 12 yard line. It's gonna be a short gain. Pakti there on the play. Mark it at the uh, 13 yard line. Only a one yard pickup on the play. South continuing to play uh, very good defense. Gotta pick it up on the special teams. Brian Andrews giving you that shot. Eric Wiesman on the top camera. Kerry Coutts are spinning the dials in the truck and we're being assisted tonight by Steve Reiner. Fake to Workman, big rush. Ball is away, he's got a receiver out there in the corner of the end zone. Catch is made by Steffel for the touchdown. Man, Chris, it looked like they had him in the backfield. Well, he threw yeah. it right to an area where two guys were. And yeah, threw it right over the head of uh, Holly, but uh, Steffel made the catch. 13 yard pass and catch for the touchdown. Coming in to uh, attempt the extra point. Oh, I had a penalty. Somebody moved. Mike Taylor is the kicker. Van Lannen is the holder. Our officiating crew is from Fond du Lac tonight. Wow. You work good offense, two good defenses, and then just, and then just, it's like the, uh, the air comes out of the balloon, you know, with a hey. little, little mistake there, and Ashwaman's way too good of a team. 
can't give them stuff like that. Yeah, You're it's right. a big advantage. Just, uh, I know Coach Hine is trying to pump up the troops. It's early yet, but 7 nothing lead for Ash Wabanon. Extra point by Taylor is good. With 1.59 remaining in the first quarter, Ash Wabanon Jaguars take the lead 7 0. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Uh, the Red Wings are getting ready to receive the kickoff from Ashwabanon. They got a, caught a huge break. Uh, South held them again on a fourth down, forced them to punt, which they did, but uh, South fumbled the punt return and uh, Ashwabanon recovered on the 24 and three plays later, put it in the end zone. And hit and dropped is uh, the return man. Taylor Billman, number 21, I believe that was. It's gonna be first and 10 Red Wings and uh, Right at the 20-yard line, 21-yard line, we'll call it, but uh, not real great field position, but uh, South has shown that they can move the ball. Or should I say Rick can move it? Yep. <laughs> That's about where they started the uh, first series, and, you know, they got down to uh, about the 35-yard uh, line until they got that 5-yard penalty. Again, a full house backfield, wide receivers left and right. Diener in motion. Goodbye. On uh looked like it was going to be a quarterback option, but then he cut it back real quick and picked up a couple of yards, not much. Boy, very explosive Ashwabanon off that snap there. It almost looked like they were off sides. They came across quickly, number 92, I believe that was, Zach Holt Holtman. It's going to be second down for the Red Wings and long. Now they're going to just a three-man front. Goodbye, barking out the signals, drops back. Quick out to uh, Brunette, and he's knocked out of bounds. I believe it was just over the 30-yard line. He's going to be close to a first down. Jake Reuter on a big block there. Number 99, here you see it. Now watch Reuter clear out to his man there. Ball is spotted right on the 30. I like the fact that South is, seems now, every time down, they seem to have third and short. They've had a couple fourth and shorts. You gotta like that a lot better than third and six and third and seven. Well, isn't that the case? Isn't that true? Smith the deep back. Bakhti again shifts back as the lead back. Give to Smith, looking for an opening, can't find it, and he's hit and dropped right on the line of scrimmage. And uh, it's going to be fourth down. I don't think you can go for it now, Chris. Not in this territory. Got to hurry. Clock winding down. Under a minute. Fast first quarter, Marty. Yes, it has been. Good snap. Kick is away. Receiver comes up and grabs it and is knocked down right at the point of uh, contact. Making the catch was uh, Pierce and we have a flag down on the play. I think there's gonna be a legal block. I'll tell you one hold. thing, those guys are very aggressive coming up to catch the punt. <laughs> Penalty is going to be on Ashwabanon. They will have it first and 10. There you get a good shot of the South High crowd.
First and 10. Ball on about the 38 yard line. Van Lannan to the first back through. And not much going on that play. Nothing. Well, I guess Wabanon will just run this right down to the end. Pierce on the carry, his first carry of the night. And uh, give him a yard on the play. Be second down, and that will be our final play of the, of the quarter. And a great shot there of uh, Shane Fultz. Well, before we start second quarter action, we're going to take a short break. And there you see it, Ash Wabanon on top, 7 to nothing. Hey, new guy. Shovel, right? Yeah, Rake. And I'm not exactly new. I've seen some action. Yeah, what's your story? Hey, my last gig, I nearly got electrocuted, almost drowned. That guy never called 811 to see if it was safe to dig. Our guy calls every time he digs. It's quick and easy. Any tool could do it. Calling 811 gets your underground utility lines marked for free. It makes every project safer for everyone. Hey, safe digging is no accident. Always call 811 before you dig. The dream of education beyond high school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.org. There we get a running play. Just so we get back, Workman on the carry. Well, not a big game, but better than most of their running plays. Absolutely, and, and unlike South, who's been in third and short situation, uh, Ashwabanon in that tweener situation of third and about five or six, so either passing or running situation, uh, we have seen that Van Landen can definitely throw the, uh, the uh, football around a little bit. He's got a nice arm, and uh, he's got some good receivers. Uh, so uh, got to get a stop here. Seven rushing yards for Ash Wabanon in the first quarter. I'd say that's pretty good defense. Van Landen back with a lot of time. Rifles went over the middle and has his receiver. Nice pitch and catch on that play. Making the catch was uh, Jake Melton. Yeah, Mellon, he comes in at Mellon, six, pardon me, yeah. Yeah, 6'2", 215 pound tight end. Just nice little play over the middle and with that arm of Van Landen, he just, uh, Threw it right in there. You got to get a little more pressure on him. We saw what what could happen if if you do that. Forced him into a scramble before. First down in uh, Red Wing territory, Marty. All right, here we go. Workman, the deep back. Little screen pass to uh, Newsom, and he lost his footing, and then he's tagged down by Bakti. But uh, we have a flag in the middle of the field, and it's going to be holding on Ashwabanon. There you see the official making the call. So this play will come back. I think they got uh, 75 there, Zach Servi there. 260 pounder. Kind of a, not such a smart play, especially considering you're screening to the, to the left there. Yeah, you want to let him go, yeah. actually in a way. And that play came out awfully early, so uh, the damage was done uh, well ahead of, of, of the play. It's going to be first and uh, 10. First and 20, pardon me. It's the first penalty against Ashwabana? That's what I have, yes. Or did they have one on that extra point? Uh, that one went on south, actually. Okay. Big penalty was against south earlier on that. Uh, yep. On that uh, fourth, yeah, fourth delay, down and delay short. Of, delay a game. Fake handoff to Pierce. Oh, yes. he's knocked and it's picked off. No! Had it right in his hands was Colin Johnson, and he dropped it. He made a great move on the ball. Watch this. Comes right up, right there. And Van Lannan paid the price. Man, he got nailed. Oh, wow. He did, and uh, that's two drops for Colin Johnson tonight. <laughs> the other one was, uh, well, we won't mention it. Second down and 20. Wow. Wow. That was a game-changing I mean, play there, too. That and uh, Van he Lannan took gone. a big hit. Boy. Oh, he did. I mean, there was two big ones on that. Fultz on the knock. Oh, That's motion. a penalty. 
Workman. The uh, I believe the center faked the snap. He moved his hand. I don't know if we can catch a shot of that, Kerry, but you can definitely see it. He moves it. Whoop! Oh no! Now we'll do it. Yeah, Workman <laughs> went. He was watching, but you're right. Good catch by the officials there, and long situation there. Got to like the uh, chances here. Um, second and 26. I don't like that 26 ever when there's long. Wasn't Memories. There a, wasn't there a fourth and something like that uh. <laughs> in Philadelphia? And Landon on a fake handoff. He's being rushed hard again and hit, but he gets away. Getting, trying to get the corner, fires the pass. It's incomplete. Hey, that Van Landon's a pretty smart guy. <laughs> he threw the ball away before he's going to get hit again. Wow, he's a player. He can really run and throw. He can play. Got him now. You got him now. Third down and 26. Oh boy. And landing in the shotgun again. Hands it off to Pierce. He's got an opening right up the middle. He's going to be short of the first down, but he picks up 16 yards on the play. Boy, you could have got good field position. Yeah. There you see him right up the middle, boy. And he that's what you call north-south running. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that's how you want to do it, too. Fourth down. Here we go, they're uh, gonna be punting, and we get a whistle again. You know, timeout Ashwabanon. These are those penalties, or these timeouts that, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these. <laughs> well, you You're know. You're wasting a timeout for a punt. Well, you know, that's, that's a personnel thing. You know, by that I mean, you know, maybe they don't have the right setup or whatever, but. Well, I think they're thinking about delay, you know, maybe to give us yeah. more room to pinch it in yeah. there. But why burn a timeout when you're going to punt the ball? You, you don't gain anything. I disagree with you on that, because if you don't have the right guys in the oh. right places, you know, and you True. let the play go through, now you're looking at, you know, a block punt possibly. So I think you're playing it safe, and, well, we are 9.22 remaining until halftime. I just think it was getting down on time. That's what I thought it was. That, that could have been, too. In that case, then it's not a good good timeout because you got to get your uh, players out there and get yourselves lined up. But I thought they might want to take a penalty or something to pin, you know, to give them a little more space here. And uh, I don't agree with this. Nobody back. I don't agree with that. It's fourth down and nine. Bakhti trying to come through the middle is blocked, and the punt is away. No return, the ball drops on uh, 15 and then it bounces down to about the 10 or the 11 yard line. So a nice punt that time by Ash Wabanon's Mike Taylor. But it'll be first and 10 south. Long way from pay dirt. They're spotting it on the 11, Chris, so only 89 yards away. Wide receivers left and right. Wilson to the left. Brunette to the right. Third punt for Ash Wabadon already. The only time they scored was in the short field, so credit the Red Wing defense thus far in the first half. Bannock the up back. Kabai straight back. Fires a quick out, and it's picked off. That one is not dropped. And returning it in for the touchdown was Josh Vandeliest. Right into his hands. He made the catch and returned it for a touchdown. Oh. Good catch by that boy. And a good run back. Oy, yay, yay. Well, what was going pretty good for South is uh, not going so good all of a sudden. Pass was intercepted at about the 20 and returned in for the touchdown. I think he just didn't release it right away. 
he should, you know, he turned and then threw. You know, it's kind of, kind of a timing play and just didn't uh, work out. And you're right, a great catch by that kid. That time the kick has uh, hit somebody in the butt. Yeah, Mike Taylor <laughs> missed that one. Hey, Kerry, when we come back from the break, could we uh, see that interception and return for a touchdown? fetch and roll over. Uh, Ash Wabanon is uh, really taking advantage of a couple of South High mistakes, Chris. Yep. Two turnovers, two scores. Uh, the difference of the game. The offense and the defense has done a real nice job, uh, but just a couple mistakes. Here's another one. Oh boy. Boy, they're not handling the ball, Chris. I'll tell you that. On the return that time was uh, Jeff Zelko. Well, South is going to try it again. This time the ball, here's going to be, uh, I thought we were going to see a replay of that interception. Maybe he'll carry, he'll get it up there for us yet before uh, halftime. Ball on the 11 yard line, it's first and 10 South. Weren't we just here? Yeah, really. Deja vu all over again. Kabai straight back, rifles one out to uh, Wilson, and he's out over the 20. It's gonna be close to a first down. There, there you see it, the replay there. Good hand catch there. Thanks, Kerry. And they are gonna be just short. That replay machine comes in real handy for us uh, big time uh, TV people. Yeah, really. Second down and one. Smith the deep back. Hand it off to Ray. He pounds it up over uh, the left guard and uh, has enough for the first down. It's 13 to nothing. We're at 8.19 remaining until halftime. A lot of time left in this game. Get yourself a touchdown here before the end of the first half and uh, you're no worse for wear after those couple of uh, mishaps there. You're playing well, Sheboygan South. Keep it up. Wilson is uh, Curtis Wilson, wide to the right. Goodbye, straight back. Looks for Wilson on the out. Oh, great, uh, great throw actually by Kabai, right on the hands of Curtis Wilson, but he couldn't come up with it. Second down and 10 for the Red Wings. They trail at 13 to nothing, but they've played Ashwaubenon extremely well tonight. One for three so far in the quarter for John Kabai for uh, nine yards, that one going to uh, Wilson. Kabai looking, looking, and he's dropped. Good penetration that time by the Jaguars. There you see, and that's been a couple times that uh, he's been in there. Chris Van Vandervest. Yeah, Vandervest has been in there a couple times. He got to get a little more work on that guy. He's been a handful so far, and uh, we don't like calling his number. Yeah, ball is all the way back to the 20. Loss of five makes it third down and 15, and these are the positions that we don't want to see the Red Wings. Four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Smith. Back with uh, Kabai, he steps up, fires a rainbow down the field, and almost picked off, but incomplete. Almost making the interception was uh, Adam Stoiber. Goes incomplete, you're gonna see it again. Stoiber in great position, but uh, couldn't come up with it. 
Or was that Newsom? Well, Chris, the offense is not controlling the ball like we want it to. Well, they were earlier. Yep, but I mean this quarter. Yep, exactly. Punt is away. Newsom didn't do very good at judging the ball, and it uh, takes a nice south high bounce inside the 35, and it's going to be downed at the 34-yard line. 7.04 remaining until halftime. South is going to have to step it up again on the defensive side. They trail 13 to nothing. Yeah, after that first drive, which basically almost went for five minutes, the last two drives, Marty, you're right, has been a minute, <coughs> minute 29 and 201. So uh, you're right, not controlling the ball. And, uh, you know, they didn't, no Ray Smith that uh, series either. Newsom cuts it back, slips by one tackler and gets it out near the 40 yard line. A good run there by Ben Newsom. Yeah, Schwaben on tailback that time. Pick up a six on the play, makes it second down and four. Why is it, Chris? I mean, you talked about it in the opening. South plays really well at home, and they are tonight. Yeah, they. Well, why can't you play well on the, on the road? I mean, what's the difference? It's the same group of guys. Yeah, just wondering about that. And I talked to Chris Korf this week, you know, this week, and he said, I asked him, can you play with these guys? And he said, absolutely, we got to play, play very well. And I think South is playing very well, but but uh, they just got to finish the job. Well, great pursuit. Not a good tackle by uh, Taylor Billman, but I tell you something, he slowed the running back up just enough to let his mates come up and uh, make the tackle. Yeah, and John they did that. Johnson over there, Zelko over there. Third down, about three on the play. Fake pitch, Pierce gets it up the middle. He's that north-south runner and he gets it down in the south territory to the 40 yard line. They faked the pitch to the left and then Pierce on a little delay took the handoff there. You see it right up the middle. Good blocking there by the Jags as well. See that little lane, that alley there open up and he just runs right through it. 190 pound fullback, rumbling, bumbling. Stumbling. Yeah, into uh, Red Wing territory. And with six minutes left here, halfway through the quarter. He um, only has two carries this quarter for 30 yards. Yeah, Jags are in uh, position again here. Pierce the deep, uh, pardon me, Workman the deep back, and he's got it on a delay. Tries to spin off a couple tacklers and does. Gives up ground, trying to get to the outside. He does, and then he's finally knocked out of bounds. Near the 35-yard line, I believe he's going to be just short of the first down, but... Spin, stay on his feet, get to the outside, and finally knocked out of bounds by Taylor Billman. You young quarterbacks out there in the uh, Sheboygan Youth League and stuff, if you watch Van Landen there, he did a very nice job of selling that, freezing the linebackers and del for the delay there. Almost looked like a pass situation. The linebackers couldn't move, which, which gave Workman that extra space. First, first back through is uh, Pierce. And he gets it deep inside the 30 yard line. Another strong run by TJ Pierce. First drive all night too that Ashwabden starting to go to work. You shut them down, shut them down. But uh, this time they're going to work. Ball on the 27 yard line. Now is another double digit gain for Pierce, a 10 yarder. They got Workman and then they got Pierce the workhorse. Yeah. And now they're going to throw in some new house here. Wide receivers, left and right, very wide. Van Lannan under center, fakes the first handoff, looking for a wide receiver, steps up, gets away from one tackler, and is finally knocked down inside the 25 yard line. Well, they had a shot at him, Chris, again, but he's, he's slippery. Yeah, he just seems to elude. And watch those offensive linemen for uh, Ashwabanon finish off those blocks. Even when he's in trouble there, he's starting to scramble. Those, those uh, offensive linemen are, you know, knocking people down. It's going to be second down and about six. 
Pitch out. Newhouse picks up pretty good yardage. Yeah, set up a third and about three. Ball being placed on on the 21 yard line. Hey, do we know who 91 is for South? She's not on our roster. No, we'll have to check that out. Third down and about two yards to go. Well, just short of the 21. They need to get down near about the 19 yard line. Pearson Workman in the backfield. Workman the deep back. Van Lannen rolling right, looking. Stops, stops. Now he'd look to throw and he's going to get sacked. Back outside the 25 yard line. Good defense by the Red Wings, not just on making a tackle at the point of the ball, but the defense in the backfield. Well, I thought covering he Covering the receivers. Yeah, I thought he had Steffel there open. No, he decided not to throw it there. He should have, because he had a little opening there, but he decided to tuck it under and not turn the ball over. Ate up the yards, which was the intel intelligent thing to do is not force anything. And uh, Schwaben on here on fourth down and about eight, they're gonna go for it. Might as well. This deep, I don't think their kicker is gonna kick it that far. And timeout by Sheboygan South. With 3.05 remaining until the half, South trails at 13 to nothing. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators, help you get through grad school, start your own business, go on hikes in the Grand Canyon. Some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit guidedogs.com. Irish... Yeah, Eric shooting the moon again. Have to talk to him about that. Jeff Fristo. Oh no, that's Brian. <laughs> Come on, Brian. <laughs> Jeff Fristo and uh, John Schrank inform us that 91 is Brandon Strau. He's a sophomore. Fourth down and eight. Comes into a big game. There you go, young man. Pierce in the backfield with Van Lannen. Wide receivers left and right. Quick one over the middle. He's Doesn't got his receiver. Hey, short. Short, short. Get New the House offense out there, New Coach House on the reception. Get the other team out there. That's short. Why you? I don't know, Chris. Yeah, they are calling it short. Nine yard pickup, they needed 10. Ball was thrown low and uh, very difficult to catch. First and 10 south. Ball spotted on about the 18 yard line. Three wide receivers to the right, one wide receiver to the left. Smith the lone setback with Kabai. He drops back, picks up a block from Smith. Out pattern is caught by Curtis Wilson and he barrels up near the 35 yard line. First down. There's an injured Eshwaban player down though, Marty. Here you're gonna see it late. Grabbing at an ankle here. There you see the young man. That's unfortunate. 17 yard pickup for the Red Wings on that play. Wilson has made the uh, two catches for uh, Kabai so far in this quarter. Ooh, I cringe when they just push up that knee like that. Ooh. There you see it, 2.48 remaining. Ashwabanon on top, 13 to nothing. They uh, recovered a fumbled punt by South at the 24 yard line and three plays later, put it in the end zone for a touchdown. And then uh, South had a first and 10 at the 11 yard line, 
and Kabai dropped straight back and threw a pick. And uh, Ashwabanon's defensive back, Josh Vandalist, caught it and took it in from about 20 yards out for the second touchdown. Uh, Taylor's extra point that time was no good, and that's where we stand right now, 13 to nothing, Ashwabanon. Which has been a very exciting ball game. I'm very impressed with the way uh, Ashwabanon looks, and I'm very Im more impressed with the way Sheboygan South is uh, playing right here at home in front of the folks. They have uh, nothing to be disappointed about the half, except that they haven't put any points on the, on the board, which they're going to have to, uh, you know, they have time to do yet with 240-something uh, left 48. here. Yep. Red Wings have it first and 10. Big number 96 is Chris Vandervest. Vandervest, pardon we, me. We've mentioned his name too many times, yeah. Marty. Okay. I don't want to hear that name ever, let's, let's ever again. Mitch Clapper, 63. How about him? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye in the shotgun again. South with uh, four wide receivers, three to the left this time. Ray Smith, the lone setback, did a great job of blocking last time. And Kabai is sacked. Guess who? Yeah, we won't mention that name. Come on, boys. Smith had a shot at him and missed him that time. The play before, Ray threw a great block. Loss of five on the play. It's just a junior, and he's having a huge half. Second down and long for the Red Wings. Call it about 15. Same formation as before, three to the left, one to the right. Smith steps up, Kabai steps up, fires over the middle of Wilson and makes a great catch. And then he dropped it, and they're gonna call it incomplete. And that may be a break, Chris, because I think if they call it a reception, then it would have been a fumble. Good replay here, Kerry. Catch, he's going forward, and that, I, I thought think two, I thought that should have been a fumble. I think the ball uh, ground caused a fumble. It did? Okay. I'm a homer. Okay. Simpson? I think he caught that one. And, well, he could have been juggling inside his body, too. Yeah. What but I thought is he caught it, took a couple steps, was dragged bound, and then uh, yep. dropped the ball. Yep. Well, two and two. Four wide receivers to each side. Smith the lone setback. We got a penalty. I think Ray took off a little too soon. I think he took off too soon the first time. All right, on the last down, this time they caught him. South on the penalty. Gonna remain third down just a little further. Well, <laughs> here we go. They got a lot of work to do for this first down, Chris. Goodbye, straight back. Big rush by Ashwaban on screen to Ray Smith. A couple block. of blocks missed. Ray is going to get nailed near the 22. He's going to lose yardage on that reception. Blocks missed. Look at that on the, on the left side, top of your screen. Two blockers there. Whoop, missed them. Both of them did not do their job. And with that, Ashwaban is going to call a timeout with a buck and a half. Which left. is a smart play on their part. Stop the clock. They'll still have time to work with to uh, get another score. Kerry, why don't we take a 30 second break and come back so uh, Chris and I can catch our breath. I got involved. I boosted tourism in my farm community by painting 55 barn quilts. I got involved. I enjoy gardening and love delivering a fresh supply of produce and flowers to a local shelter. I got involved. Young volunteers have a winning spirit that we think is worth celebrating. Middle and high school students, ask your school principal about applying for a Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Punt is away by Brunette. Catch is made and returned and knocked out of bounds near inside the 35 yard line was Adam Weed. Jeff Selko delivered a big shot there. Well, special teams for Ashwabanon has uh, been very good, especially uh, 
with the uh, punting that South has had to do. They're very aggressive on coming up and fielding the punt. Ball is gonna be spotted on about the 33, and they have a great opportunity to score again with uh, 124 remaining deep in South territory. Workman at a slot receiver on the left. Fires over the middle, is incomplete. Newhouse was the intended receiver, but the pass is not complete. Fourth punt for uh, South there. And uh, two for five so far in the quarter is uh, Van Lannan for 20 yards. It's gonna be second down and 10. Trips. And Landon rolling to the left, stopping. Nope, now he pops and uh, threw it in the ground. No chance that time for uh, Vince Workman. Yeah, that was probably his worst pass of the day. Going on the move, really didn't get his feet set and kind of just threw it uh, into the ground. Calling the signals defensively is uh, Brent Jacobs. Jacobs, a long snapper, also has done a good job tonight with that uh, task, as he did all last year, for that matter. Brent is uh, only a junior, so he was doing that snapping last year as a sophomore. Pierce lines up alongside Van Lannan, but we get whistles prior to the snap, and it's going to be a timeout for South. With uh, 113 remaining until halftime, South calls a timeout. We're going to take another short break. Maybe not. Chris Hein very animated in the huddle. Don't give up a score. <laughs> well, you know, that's crucial. I think, you know, the way they scored their two touchdowns, Ashwaubenon, you know, that can really be a downer. What you need is something to go into halftime, you know, put your hat on, and, and making a defensive stop here would certainly help in that respect. Well, I don't want to say it's going to happen, but one of these times Ashwaubenon is just going to drive down the field and score. And, uh, I mean, you've played so well. I mean, it's, it's inevitable to do that, but that they're probably gonna score sometime. You just That's why you can't give away those easy touchdowns the other way. Yeah, and they did that twice already tonight. All right, here we go. Fake handoff, Van Landen back, looking deep. He wheels one down. A lot of contact made, and the catch is made in the end zone for a touchdown by Kevin Holly. but I'll tell you, there was some major push off that time by Holly, and it wasn't called, and it should have been. That was not good. Well, oh wow! I agree with you, Marty. But you can't get beat. You can't get by you. You just can't. Well, get, I mean, what can you do when the yeah, guy pushes yeah. you in the back? I mean, yeah. shoot. Yeah. Oh, gone it. Here you'll see it. Watch the push off in the back. Oh, you missed. Yes. Yeah, it, it happened prior to that. Right before that separation there. Little arm bar there. That stinks. But. Taylor gets that kick up in the air and through. And with 105 remaining at halftime, Ashwabanon leads it 20 to nothing. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. South High School where Ashwabanon has taken advantage of uh, great field position again. And uh, they started at 33, three plays later, three pass plays and they scored on a 33-yarder. Van Lannan to Holly. 
Salt takes it and uh, steps back in the end zone. And in high school football, that's an automatic touchback. So no return. Salt will have it first and 10 on the 20-yard line. Wow. Yeah, I was just going to run over. Our, our game next week, Chris, is at uh, Lakeland College on Saturday when they play Eureka. And uh, we'll have one more trip out there, our last game of the season on the 27th of October. But uh, our season is winding down. We only got three games left. Yeah, well, hopefully maybe South will make a run and get in the playoffs here. So, Goodbye on a keeper. Takes it up the middle for a couple of yards. They got uh, teams on their schedule that they can beat. And uh, so don't... Uh, Count them out. Yep, they only need two more. But uh, part of this deal, as we've talked about it earlier, is the the north-south uh, teams both playing on the road at the same time and both playing at home at the same time, thanks to our new conference commissioner and the decisions that uh, they make. Well, makes. according to Dan, that wasn't the conference commissioner well. necessarily. I mean, I don't know for sure, but it sounds like there's a lot of other things that work on that whole deal. Yep. Whatever, it's not good. Is it like that every stinking week they play home both and both away? I mean, what kind of, who's, who's thinking of that? Crying out loud. Oh, fumble. Boy. Who's got it? Oh boy, I was just thinking maybe we should just take a knee here, get the ball right away to start the third quarter. 27 seconds remaining. I'll tell you, if they're still fighting underneath there, I think the uh, Schwabenon guy had a little better grip on it and he's going to pull away with it, but uh, let's see what happens. Nope. There's a break. Oh, boy. You're right. Well, Kabai able to gather it back in. You don't have to snap the ball, I don't think. He lines up there. No call was made. They're, yep, they're just going out. Kabai takes a knee. And that's going to be halftime. Clock winding down. Under five seconds. Well, we see why Ashwabanon is uh, ranked number three in the state. They go into halftime. at Sal's homecoming game. Up 20 to nothing over the South High Red Wings. When we come back, we'll have some halftime entertainment for you. My neighbors, Gene and Louise, they may be superheroes with superpowers, but that doesn't make them so super at saving energy and money. Honey! I may not be able to harness the power of the elements, but I save significant cash and help the environment with appliances, electronics, and windows featuring the Energy Star label. So discover your own energy-saving superpowers. Go to ase.org slash consumers. The world has changed a lot since 1970. That's when Congress created the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, SIPC. For 37 years, we've remained focused on one thing, helping investors in the unlikely event that their brokerage firm encounters difficulties. We've helped more than 600,000 investors recover over $14 billion in assets. We're the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. There for you then, here for you now.
sex think 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 man think about this it's not just you think about the other people involved think about the girl her family her thoughts her future you know she has goals what about the respect for the values that your parents gave you what about the little kids in your neighborhood who happen to look up to you think about that before you take that step think about yourself think about the things you want to do don't you have goals how about thinking ahead just think and wait Back at South High School, they're talking to the team captains getting ready to uh, start second half action. Ashwabanon leads it 20 to nothing on the strength of uh, some mistakes by uh, South High School, actually. The first score came in the first quarter after South fumbled a punt and uh, took uh, the Red Wings, or pardon me, the Jaguars of Ashwabanon three plays to get it in the end zone from 24 yards out. And then in the second quarter, uh, John Kabai was intercepted and it was returned for a touchdown. That made it 13 to nothing. And then uh, right before halftime, Ashwabanon was able to take it in from 33 yards out, a 33-yard pass play, and that made it 20 to nothing. That's where we stand now. Chris, we have some interesting uh, stats. Why don't you go over that? Well, but you uh, came up with some totals here. Uh, 150 yards for Ashwabanon, just 75 for Sheboygan South, uh, 66 yards, uh, basically on the ground for Ashwaudan. Uh, the problem with South though that we noticed, as I said, well, I kinda, we talked about it at halftime, is how many yards did uh, South have in the first first quarter? They had 50, uh, so they only got 25 yards on the ground, excuse me, total, 25 yards total in that second quarter. Um, you know what, it didn't, uh, I'll tell you what, I thought Sheboygan South went toe to toe with these guys. The few mistakes and uh, the big play there is the difference, I mean, you can't, I mean, I think the effort is outstanding, and uh, to say it's 20 to nothing right now, it's, it's just shocking to me because I thought Sheboygan South played very, very well. Well, we had mentioned it, too, that uh, part of the, the success South would need is to get uh, their offense going, and they did that in the first quarter. They actually controlled the ball. Uh, it was a mistake on the special teams that really cost them, but uh, like you mentioned in that second quarter, they didn't move the ball. Uh, you talked about having only 25 yards. None of that was on the ground. 
They were uh, zero rushing yards in uh, five attempts. Oh, there's uh, Tim Stubbe yes. right there with the white cap, former quarterback here in the homecoming. Um, yeah, not enough Ray. Uh, not enough fall Ray. behind when you five fall behind. Fall, fall behind, uh, that's going to happen a little bit. But uh, I thought the south side defense did an outstanding job swarming. One big pass play there. Uh, you know, he did kind of turn his head a little bit to look at the ball and maybe got pushed off a little bit, but uh, that was the uh, only big offensive strike that Schwabdon basically had all night. You really controlled the ground game, too. Uh, I believe they had, you know, what, 66 yards and 16 carries. Um, they didn't do much in the first quarter, but uh, I'll tell you that uh, T.J. Pierce had uh, some big gainers. He had 39 yards in the second quarter on only three carries. Right, and but if you think about the other guys, Newhouse and uh, Workman, I mean, they were very, very much bottled up by that swarming south defense. So one of the keys of the games was tackle, 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 and I think you did a nice job of that. And uh, uh, the Ray Smith factor, we saw it early. We need a little bit more of that, and the offense offensive line and having that little bit of heart you got to do a little better job there was uh, too much uh, penetration by those defensive tackles and uh, guards in there or excuse me defensive tackles and nose guards in there to uh, settle things down the positive thing is South does get the ball to start the uh, second half and we have a second half of uh, action so there's uh, it's not impossible Kabai was uh, 5 for 9 with one interception in the first half uh, Van Lannan for uh, Ashwabanon was 6 for 11 with no interceptions. Let's see what's left in the tank here. Back deep for uh, the Red Wings is Brunette and Zelko. Zelko usually call his name on uh, defense, but he's back, going to return the kick. Takes off, taking on the 10 yard line. And uh, Brunette is dragged down over the 25-yard line. First and 10 south. They need to get something going right off the, right from the start, Chris. I mean, they got to start to control the ball like they did in the first first quarter, and get a score on the board. Yeah, put I would, some pressure on them. Yeah, put some pressure. Big plays. We saw Wilson catch a ball earlier. They had a big gainer. You've seen Ray Smith have some. Uh, uh, Show some signs of life with some plays here, so uh, a little more of that. Uh, they really bottled up uh, Kabai, though, running the ball. A full house backfield again. Smith, the deep back. They like to run out of this formation. Diener in motion. Hand off to Smith. He gets up over the 25, near the 30. Good pick up there. And a nice little stretch play. Second down, Smith on the carry. Not quite as much as I thought, Chris. He only picks up about three. But we'll take it. Kabai under center as he's been all night. Wide receivers left and right. Wilson wide left. Bakhti drops back into the backfield. Hand off to Smith, and he breaks through the line of scrimmage. He's into Ashwaben on territory before he's knocked down at about the 46 yard line. A great gain that time by Ray. Go Ray, go Ray, go Ray. Watch this finishing play in the Ashwaben on territory. That's what we want to see. Good explosiveness by the offensive line, that big hole there, and use that speed there, number 37. 25 yarder for Ray that time, Chris. First and 10. Bakhti and Diener, the up back, Smith the deep back. No motion this time, give it right off to Ray. Pounding off left guard or tackle. Picks up a couple of yards. All I'm gonna say is 96 made the tackle. <laughs> Have we called his number before? I don't care about his number, I'm not mentioning his name. We've called that gentleman. <laughs> Good gain though again. Another, what, four yards yeah, here? Yeah, give him four on that pickup. We don't we don't argue with four yard gains. No, we don't. That's I'll tell stuff. you, it's nice to see Ray carrying the ball again. He only had one carry in the entire second quarter. Stretch play. 
Picks up a nice block, but it's going to be uh, a flag on it. They're going to get Diener on an illegal block. Let's see if we can see it. 25 is the motion man. He's the guy that gets called for the illegal block. And looked like he had an arm wrapped around him. So, Chris Hine not happy with that. Chris Korf in the background not happy with it either. Rayanna Carey. Turnovers and penalties. The 2006 Sheboygan South Red Wings. Turnovers and penalties. And that's what we're seeing tonight. Just untimely penalties well, and turnovers. The ball was spotted at the 34 yard line after the carry. The penalty happened uh, way before that. I would say, yeah, the 42. So they're going to take this back to about the 48. The yard line was the 42, so it'll be a no gain. Uh, looks like it's going to be the 47, unless he can't count. Oh. Is this all right? Tell me. Tell me. Is it right or not? How many? How many guys need to decide this? Do we need a quorum? <laughs> <laughs> well, he still hasn't put it down yet. It's not raining. You can put it on the grass. Officials time out. Oh, and they're calling unsportsmanlike on the bench. Oh, no. You know, I haven't seen. Oh, man. Come I on. I don't think I've seen Jeez. that. That really stinks. God almighty. Let's see. Can I count? Can you figure this out? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 32 yards. Jeez. Where's the ball? 32 yard line. And then they keep looking at the bench. Say something again. Jeez. And the evil empire still haunts us. Really? That's Fond du Lac. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't the other team, it's the referees from Fond du Lac. <laughs> They're really nice people over there. They are, honest. I have relatives that live there or lived there. I've always said the evil empire. Well, South has their work cut out, I'll tell you that. Oshkosh sends some more garbage into the river, <laughs> into the lake, and send it south. <laughs> now two wide receivers, full house backfield. Kabai under center, sends Diener in motion. Fake handoff to Smith. A looping pass intended for Bakhti. It was open. He could have gained some yards, but the pass was way short. They're running and running and running so well, and because of the situation of... Yeah, you You're forced, you have to throw it. I'm, I'm not saying the, the play call was bad, Marty. I'm just saying it just yeah, you gotta. It just takes you out of everything that was going so well. Um, and they had the first down down there. Yeah, I mean. At the 34, now they're at inside their 32. Oh. That's like 50-some yards of position almost, 48. Smith in motion. We haven't seen that tonight yet. Catch is made. But uh, going nowhere is Grant Renzelman. I had no blockers out front. The blockers were ahead of the two tacklers. And therefore, uh, South forced the punt in what looked like a great opening drive. It's going to be fourth down and long. South getting ready to punt. Good snap to Brunette. His kick is away. Nice catch is made by Weed, and he's got a pretty nice return going for himself into South Territory over the 50-yard line. So Ashwabanon again working on a short field. Ball is going to be spotted, I think, at about the 48-yard line. Wow, we defense is really going to have to step up now, Chris. 
Two wide receivers off to the left. I think it's Newsom the deep back and uh, Pierce the up back. Van Lannan still at quarterback. First back through. Fumble? No. Pierce is knocked down at about the 45, maybe the 44, but anyway, it was, was not a big gain. Oh, there was some serious hitting there by South. The way he flew back, I thought he was going after the ball, but that was just a delivery of the punishment by the uh, Red Wing defense there. Second down and about, oh man, he picked up pretty many yards there. We'll call it the 45, so give him a gain of three at second down. Pierce the up back again. Give it to Newsom. He's going to get hit in the backfield and dragged down in nor in the Ash Wabanon territory. A big loss back to about the 49 yard line. Well, now they're going to bring it up. Come on, guys. Sheepers. Come on. Look at. Well, could have been the 52. Third down and 11. Loss of four on the play. Actually, it was probably a good, good call, Chris. See those guys from Fond du Lac, they know what they're doing. Actually, this crew is doing a good job overall, I think. Oh, yeah. I didn't like the penalty call on uh, South, but uh, we don't know what was said there. They may have dropped the bomb. Van Lannan straight back, has time. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. He's got good speed, outruns one defender, outruns another, and he's going to be close to a first down. Does he have it? Oh, brother. He's a speedy guy. Here's the replay, Marty. Look at him use his feet. He runs right away from uh, Brent Jacobs. Good delivery there, Zach Sur uh, Survey. We've mentioned him before, finishing those blocks. He's one of those guys that just doesn't quit, number 75. His engine is going all the time, and even after, you know, well down the play, that extra kick out block that he uh, uh, added there maybe got his team a first down. Yeah, he did. Picks up 11 yards on the carry. Got the first down. Be very surprised if Ashwaubenon throws too much here in the... Uh, he actually had uh, only one yard and three carries in the first half. I was going to say, I was gonna, they're not going to probably be putting the ball up very often here because of, uh, you know, they want to manage clock here, and uh, managing clock is keeping the, uh, keeping the ball. Pierce... Offset eye to the left. Van Lannan steps back and calls a timeout. Didn't like uh, what he saw over there. Just as I say, he's going to keep the clock moving, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're for south. We'll <laughs> take that strategy. Let them do that all they want. There's a great shot of uh, Steve Bakhti, number 20, doing it uh, both sides of the ball tonight. Play a little defense, a lot of offense. On the defensive side right now. Well, Ash Wabanon is the real deal. I don't know. Hey, took advantage of uh, that they have mistakes. That they have, but uh, and yeah, we haven't seen them. They're like not. You said the long drive. We haven't seen them do that yet tonight. And uh, they have some players. I will say that they got some real special players, but. Uh, I'll tell you, I think South's going toe to toe with these guys. Oh, for sure, for and, sure. Uh, you know, regardless of you know if they can make a rally and win this game, or they come out on the negative side. I mean, you gotta. Does South get to play the rest of their games at home? <laughs> <laughs> well, they should be able to play. You know, this is a type of game you should know that you can play with anybody. Inside handoff to Pierce again, a little trap play, and uh, he gets it down inside the 30-yard line. That trap play has been uh, very special for them tonight. Pierce has gained a lot of yards on that play. Well, we They're caught it a little bit late, but... Yeah, and I you. think Coach Hine there wanted a hold. It's, and I know who he was talking about, too. One of the guys for Ashwabna was basically uh, mugging one of the... Uh, I think he was mugging uh, Reinbold there right out of the play. You know, you get those inside pulling guards in a trap play and all of a sudden you know, they grab and throw you down. Sometimes it's hard for an official to see them. Not making excuses for the officials, but... Uh, they look like they were dancing for homecoming tonight. Oh, Pierce rolling over people and gets it down inside the five-yard line. I mean, that was determined running by T.J. Pierce. 
They gotta get an answer for that guy. Right up the middle again, north and south. Runner, he just going at it. Heading to the north end zone and gets it down inside the five. Mark it at the three, is that Chris? Yep. Timeout. 24 yard run. South. Well, let's take a timeout, Carrie. There you see it, 20 to nothing, Ash on and they're threatening. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now. Or you can get one later. Talk to your doctor about a physical. Learn how to lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. There you see it's 6.20 remaining in the third quarter. Ash Wabanon started on a short field and uh, they've been running the ball. Three yards, then a minus four, then 11, 11 and 24. TJ Pierce doing most of the damage. I'm gonna go with uh, Workman as the deep back, Pierce the up back, Van Lannan at quarterback. And they give it to Workman. Looking to go off tackle, did he get in? Yes. Lunged forward and got it into the end zone. South played pretty good defense, but they couldn't keep him out. And Ashwabanon on the board again. Well, Chris, that's not fair. I mean, those other guys, they do all the work, get it down <laughs> in there, and then they give it to the, a guy that hasn't carried the ball. Ay, ay, ay. Stuff like that that made me mad in high school. That Krieger, you was scoring all these touchdowns, and Selinger and I would barrel it down the field. Just kidding. <laughs> he was probably their money guy. He was our money guy. Six feet, 180 pounds back then. It was pretty doggone big for a quarterback. <laughs> Extra point is good. That makes it 27 to nothing, Ash Wabanon. We have uh, 615 remaining in the third quarter. Cordless power tools and rechargeable batteries help you do projects all over the house. Inside, outside, they let you work anywhere. But did you know that by recycling old rechargeable batteries, you can help protect the environment? It's true. When they no longer hold a charge and need to be replaced, old rechargeable batteries should be recycled. It's easy and it's free. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries wherever you buy cordless power tools. Go to calltorecycle.org to find a collection site near you. much better they haven't scored either as the Tritons after losing their first four games are now up 42 to nothing so uh, not a good day for uh, Sheboygan football at this juncture of the night Zelko has it slips by one tackler and gets it up over the 20 yard line before he's knocked down and uh, he looks like he's hurt Yep, limping Ouch. off, but uh, at least he's coming off underneath, under his own power. First and 10 south. The Ashwabanon Jaguars are up 27 to nothing. So is it Jaguars or Jaguars as they say on uh, Fox yeah, Sports? Yeah, yeah Jaguars. Jaguars. That's what I pronounce them like in school, but... Uh, Let's just call him Ash Wabanon. Smith, the deep back. Bakhti slips back along with uh, Diener in the backfield. Kabai hands it off. Smith cuts it back and uh, gets it up over the 25 yard line. Ash Wabanon has a uh, gentleman playing in the NFL, NFL yet. Aaron Stecker plays with the New Orleans Saints. He's probably going to be put more into action now that uh, Deuce McAllister's out. Uh, Reggie Bush. That. Yep, Deuce is out for the season, so Aaron Stecker is the third uh, guy there, and he's a former Ash Wabanon, and uh, he played with the Badgers for a year, and then I think some guy by the name of Dane came around, and yeah. he went down to Northern Illinois and had a great career. Smart move on his part. Second back through. 
Not much there. Smith on the carry. Ball spotted right on, just inside the 30 at the 29. So Smith only picked up maybe one yard on that play. And Schwabenon too will be a, uh, probably be a division two team. They've been in that part of the tournament the last few years. It all depends on the enrollment. But uh, that's where they, they seem to hang out and uh, make a lot of hay. Quick out to Brunetti, makes the catch and is spun down over the 35 yard line. It'll be a first down for the Red Wings. For those people that don't know, I still think, which I think is too many, there's seven divisions in football. I thought six was too many, but now they have seven. And basically all the teams that make the playoffs uh, come in with their enrollment and then they divide it up uh, accordingly. And uh, Ashwabanon normally is in division two. First down ball spotted on the 35 yard line. Fake handoff to Smith. Goodbye. Lobs one out to Bakhti. That was the play that he missed on the first time. Bakhti gets through three defenders. Still on his feet, and he's knocked down inside the 30-yard line. Nice play there. Oh, you're, yeah. It looked, you're right. It was exactly. See what same. happened if the defenders knocked each other off. Nope. Just missed them. Nope. Nice play. 200-plus pounds of Bakhti running down there. First down and 10, ball spotted at the 29 yard line, we'll call it. 36 yard pickup. Smith trips to the right. Smith, a little backward lateral, that should be called a run. Oh, he's looking, giving up ground, giving up ground. He's got room, nice block there by Kabai. Smith still has it. And he's spun out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Call it a run. See, he threw the ball backwards. Ooh, he gives up a lot of runs. He's saying, give me a block, John. Nice yes. block. And you know what he's thinking there? John was thinking, block with your left shoulder, not your right shoulder. Lean in with that left. Yeah. Save that good arm of yours. A little baseball coming up. You know, you got to protect that. Nice pickup of 15 yards. Well, he's going to deliver some blows on the hockey rink, I'm sure, this winter as well. Smith alone setback. Quick pitch out to Orenzelin, but he's knocked down. Eh, he probably lost a yard on the play. And Elise there, right over Brunette. And uh, got into that tackle. Second down play. Three sixteen. Lost about a half yard. We'll still call it second and ten. Smith is a slot on the right side. Quick handoff inside, making a nice gain that time was Jacob Bannock on the carry. Nice play there too. I like that play. Yeah, quick hitter. They tried him on that earlier in the game back in the first quarter, and uh, they pretty much stacked him up at the line of scrimmage. Ball is spotted at about the seven yard line. That was about a seven yard pickup. Make it about a six yard pickup. Third down. Fake to Bannock. Kabai keeps it. Lunges near the end zone. He's going to get down to about the one yard line. First down. Nice play by John. First and goal for the Red Wings. Watch that. And he's also set up for a field goal attempt. Nice in the middle of the field there. I don't think we'll see one. No. <laughs> Come on, Chris. <laughs> I'm always looking for the positives. Yeah, really. First and goal. Full house backfield for the Red Wings. Give it to Smith. He's lunging. In there. Touchdown for South. With 1.55 remaining in the third quarter, South on the board, and they put the score on the wrong side. <laughs> it's a homecoming prank. 
MIT is in the house. Is that Risto on the clock? <laughs> Oh boy, there's a slam. <laughs> Extra point by Moore. Well, Risto got the snap there. Jake Risto. <laughs> Kick is up and good. And South on the board. Nice drive. Oh, that was a very nice drive. Doesn't that make a difference when there's no penalties? No kidding. South on the board, I tell you, I'm way behind on my stat keeping here. But that's okay. We know they had some big plays. 36 yarder was the key one. Kabai to uh, Steve Bakhti, that got him in position. And, uh, and there. I thought there was a nice mix of plays there, too. Yeah, by, uh, well, they ran the ball in, a 15-yarder by Smith. Yeah. So they mixed up the run and pass. You're right. Uh, Chris Korf, Coach Korf, doing a very nice job mixing things up and uh, keeping uh, the Jags off balance. Kick is high but short, taking on about the 26-yard line. Workman knocked down at the third, pardon me, the 29. Zelko. Well, he did too much east-west there and uh, good pursuit there by uh, the Red Wings. He wanted to go uh, towards the sidelines and that was not going to happen. First and 10, it's short of the 30, we'll call it the 29. I don't know why those officials don't help us out and just put it on the yard line. I mean, especially when it's them, just mark it back a little bit. How about a quick stuff here? Get the ball back here. Second back through is Newsom. He hasn't gained much. Oh. Slips by one tackler, but he can't. Actually, he didn't slip by him. He was tripped up and knocked down for no gain. Steve Bakhti there, big play. There you see, looks like he slipped him. He did kind of, but he tripped him up just enough for a no gainer. Second and 10. Van Lannan getting instructions from his coach, looks at his arm tag and says, dial up a 10 yarder. You got Newsom as the deep back, Pierce is the up back. They like to run that trap play. Let's see if they do it here. Up nope, straight back, looking for his man deep. Does, has time, now he runs out of time, fires it over the middle. Ew, almost intercepted. Jeez. Come on. Slipped off of the hands of Brent, Brent Steffel, and then it was uh, Taylor Billman not able to make the catch. Oop, oop, oh, dog, got it. Should have had that one. Man. Jeez, how many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> My. Catch the ball. That's why they're DBs, Chris. <laughs> Third down and 10. Yeah, they probably catch 200 balls every day. Third and 10, a good third down. Again, you know, South holding them, making it third and long. Let's yep. see if they can uh, come up with a stop. And a whistle. Timeout South. Oh, man. No, well. They might need those timeouts later, however. Uh, I don't know what he saw out there. No. We didn't know what he saw. We don't know much up here, but we certainly have a good time announcing these <laughs> games. <laughs> I was excited about this, and I was really pumped up with the first quarter, the, the stuff that was going on. I, Like I said, I think uh, I've seen a lot of nice things from South today. I'd like to put a little plug in for uh, one of my schools. Pigeon River had their family fall festival tonight, and I'll tell you, it was very well attended. There were a lot of people. Cars parked all the way out to the street. If you know the parking situation at uh, Pigeon River, there's a long driveway that you go in. A lot of people there. I was over there uh, promoting pep grant equipment that we received, and uh, parents uh, and kids were having a good time when I left early. And uh, Sarah Lowen and Tracy Bowles were in charge of that event, and uh, 
They did one heck of a job and a lot of participation by the staff over at Pigeon River. So kudos goes out to those people. Well, we do just high school, you know, sporting events, but a lot of schools are doing a lot of nice things, you know, in the Sheboygan Area School District that, you know, it's nice that they get recognized. You, you, you mentioned, yeah. I know there's stuff that goes on at Jackson and Washington and a whole bunch of schools. And Landon back, looking, looking, firing deep over the middle, and he's got his receiver. Hovey, all the way to the house, touchdown. Hovey beat his man, and Van Lannon threw a perfect strike, and that one goes 71 yards. Oh, nice pass and catch, and nobody's gonna catch that young man. On the reception was Kevin Holly, pardon me, I'm sorry about that, Van Lannon to Holly. 71-yard TD strike. Well, when the other team scores, you want to come back and score one yourself. And that's what Ashwabanon did. Mike Taylor in to attempt the extra point. Kicks a blooper, but it's good. With 47 seconds remaining, in the third quarter, Ash Wabanon is up now 34 to seven. Sheesh. That was a strike. Well, every time you got a little <laughs> ray of hope, no pun intended. <laughs> that was good, Chris. <laughs> yep, well, that's why they're ranked third in the state. Taylor's kick is high and taken by Brunette at about the six. Picks up some nice blocking on the corner before he's knocked out of bounds at about the, just short of the 30 yard line. First and 10 south. Eric Wiesman running the top camera. Ryan Andrews on the field camera. Assisting is Steve Reiner. Spinning the dials in the truck is Kerry Kautzer. My partner is Chris Wright and I'm Mike Martin bringing you tonight's ball game. Your community station at work for you. Goodbye. Flushed out of the pocket. Oh my. Great hit on the official. Oh, that man is down too, he is hurt. Coming up from behind was Mike Taylor. He didn't see the official. I don't know if you'll be able to catch it on your screen, but he just got nailed. Yeah, it was just there. Oh man, he got hit hard. You know, at first it looked kind of funny, you know, like he blocked the guy right. out of the way, but oh man, Taylor never saw him, you know, attacking the ball and that man went down hard, you saw it. It's like his shoulder. Yeah, boy, you hope he's not hurt real bad. He's down, he's definitely hurt, but hopefully he'll be able to get up and continue on. Sarah Kinsella out uh, offering assistance. Wow. Yeah, that was not pretty at all. <sighs> Take a deep breath. You don't realize what a dangerous job officiating football is until you see something happen like that. Those guys put themselves in harm's way and uh, Thank goodness for most of the part, most of the time they're able to uh, not get injured, but uh, in this case, that, that man uh, took a huge hit. Well, check if all the pieces are there. Who carried the ball? Goodbye. 
Bai was uh, scrambled out of the pocket and got it up to the 43 yard line. I didn't even watch the play and I just watched the official go down. And uh, wow. Long third quarter, fast first quarter, the third quarter's really slowed down. Bannock, the first back through, gets it up to about the 48 before he stopped. Ball scored it out, but it was too late. Oh boy, I just hope that official is okay. He's got his hat on now. Four yard pickup by uh, Bannock. Quarter, Marty. And uh, that's the end of the quarter. Ashwabanon leads it 34 to seven. We'll be right back. The foundation for financial protection. Unfortunately, some do not. There are fake insurance companies that promise peace of mind when trouble strikes, but actually fall apart like a house of cards when it's time to pay a claim. I'm Walter Bell, president of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. Before signing a policy, I urge you to stop, call, and confirm with your state insurance department to be sure you're dealing with a licensed company or go to NEIC.org. Just rock and roll. What? Just something simple? It says rock and roll. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I love rock and roll. Okay, dude. Some mistakes in life are permanent. Like hearing loss. To learn how to protect your hearing, visit asha.org. Back at South High School, just getting ready to start fourth quarter action. Uh, that official is still on the bench. Just, you just can't quite see it. And there you go, you can see him on the bench. Good job, Eric. Uh, he is doing better, but uh, not coming back in. It's second down and six for South High School. Goodbye in the shotgun. Smith the lone setback with him. Goodbye. Wanted to take it right up the middle, but it was pretty well bottled up. He picks up maybe a yard. That was a called play, but uh, not much going on. It'll be third and about five. Trips off to the left. Smith alone set back. Goodbye straight back, looking, firing deep. Double coverage for Brunette and the ball uh, cannot be caught. The defenders out there were Stoiber and Weed. And that pass goes incomplete, it'll be fourth down. Punt number six. For South, it's had a long of 46 so far. Burnett. Burnett back to punt. Jacobs do the centering. Looks like Weed and Pierce back to receive the punt. Just saw John Kabai talk to that official and pat him on the. Pat him on the back there. It's very nice of John to do that. Workman on the catch. He got a flag on a block and then he's knocked out of bounds and into the table. And almost hit the official again. Zelko down but uh, pops back up. He's gonna be okay. The ball is spotted on the 35 yard line but there is a flag, illegal block it looked like. We'll have to sort that out. It'll be first and 10 for Ash Wabanon once we get going. There you get a good shot of the official. We'll get number 15 out of the way. But uh, I'll tell you, he does not look good. 
He's still shaking up. Ball is uh, marked inside the 20 yard line. I'll call it the 18. Van Landen under center, Pierce is the up back. It looks like Workman is the deep back. Fake, well they do give it off to uh, Pierce and a uh, good tackle made by Steve Bakhti. Give him a pick up a two on the play, makes it second down, an eight. Clock rolling, 10.35 and counting. Pitch out to Workman, going to the left, trying to get to the outside. He's got the corner. It's gonna be near a first down before he's tackled. He's gonna be spotted at about the 27 yard line. Give him a gain of seven. It'll be a third and short. Wide receivers, left and right. Tight end on the right side. Quick handoff to Pierce. He barrels through, he's got the first down. You mentioned it earlier, Chris. You know, he's uh, packs a lot of strength in that little body. 195 10. All spotted on the 32 yard line, I believe it is. Pickup of uh, five yards by Pierce. Under 10 minutes, we're in the fourth quarter, Ashwaubenon on, on top, 34 to seven. A little surprised he's got all his horses still in there, 34 to seven. Newhouse on the carry that time. There that official is, he's walking now, looks, looks a little better. Pierce the up back, pitch out to Newhouse. He's hit and dropped, a hard hit out there made and uh, Newhouse is gonna probably lose a yard. You know, up 34 to seven, I'm a little surprised they do so many pitches and like I said, got all their big guys in there. Most of the time when you're up by this, you just wanna have nice, easy uh, plays. They must have a lot of confidence in their pitch play, but normally it's just, Basically between the tackles. I think it was either uh, Johnson or Rissy that made that big hit. I think it was Johnson. Third down and long. Wow. And Landon straight back, looking, looking, wow. firing deep. He's got his receivers, got the defender beat, but a great defensive play by Charlie Rissy to get a hand up and knock the ball away. Good job, Charlie. Wow, a little surprise on that call there. You need another score here, Ashwabanon? Oh, just got his hand out there and tapped it away. Good job, much. Well, it was only their first pass of the quarter. Wow, you don't need the home run pitch. <laughs> don't you have enough points on the board, boys? Rissy and uh, I believe it's Johnson back deep to receive the punt. Here's Taylor, fourth punt for him tonight. First in the second half, though. That's an illegal block. Yeah, cry guys, come on, sheepers. And they're going for the ball, boy. They're trying to rip it away. On the return was Colin Johnson, but we do have an illegal block, and the flag is down around the 29-yard line. 
7.36 remaining, Ashwaubin on the big numbers are the 34 under guests and uh, only the seven under Red Wings. Ashwaubin on has all their boys out there yet on defense. Uh, I think he's smiling, but he's talking to a lot of good looking girls oh, over there. That's right, he's got three, <laughs> three lovely ladies over there They're all really. of a sudden. Yeah, see. <laughs> sure, now they break it up when the camera shows up. Well, I think uh, given the way the game is, his services are not needed. There's no sense in putting himself in harm's way again. Well, I was wondering who's going to take a spot there right behind the linebackers. I'm not doing that spot. You do that spot. I'm not doing it. You do <laughs> I'll it. I'll be the line judge. <laughs> Ball spotted on the 20-yard uh, line. Kabai straight back looking. Get some nice blocking up front. A deep out to Renzelman, but he can't come up with it. It goes incomplete. Our next game will be uh, next Saturday when TV8. There you see uh, Eric Wiesman up on top running that camera. How's it up there, Cold? Pretty nice in the in the booth. <laughs> no rain next Saturday. No we rain want, next. Yeah, right. We don't want to be in the the enemy territory uh, bleachers as our papers are soaked and we're soaked. Really? Yeah. No we, chance of electrocution there. That's we, what, at least what uh, Gary and Scott told us. We tried stats for two plays and uh, that's enough. <laughs> Went without stats that game. Flag yeah. illegal procedure on South. But uh, anyway, we'll be at Lakeland next week. They uh, host Eureka in a conference game. Lakeland always treats us very, very well out there, as does uh, we enjoy the uh, food here at Sheboygan South as well as... I think your line last week, I believe, or two weeks ago, whenever we were here last, uh, best food in the conference. Yep. I see you had some of them donuts, too. Ooh, those are good. I definitely recommend the, the donuts. Ooh, Smith dropped it. He had it, dropped it, had it, dropped it, and then it hit the ground. So that pass goes incomplete. As I said, uh, Ashwabana not, uh, they're not going to play any subs here up by 28 as of yet. Well, right. they're not going to preserve the shutout. Yeah. We see one guy out there, one couple clean jerseys. And there's a few out there. Most of those linebackers are pretty clean. Goodbye on the draw play to Smith, and then we get a flag right away. Right in the middle of the line. And uh, there was only one guy there, but we're not saying who he was, who committed the foul. <laughs> now they start shuffling more guys in. Ashwabadon. Hey, when it gets to be a blowout like this, does TV8 get guys they shuffle in <laughs> for the announcers? <laughs> no, normally they just turn us off. <laughs> Some of you will be sitting watching this at 12:15 uh, tonight, and they'll say that's enough of this. Well, I think they declined the penalty because Ray didn't get much. Matter of fact, he lost the yard, so it goes fourth down. Only one player back to receive this punt. Brunette hits it hard, taken right at the 50 yard line by Weed. And uh, he gets it up inside the 45, so about a seven yard return on that kick. 6.50 remaining in the ball game. Ashwabanon on top, 34 to seven. And uh, we'll call it the 44 yard line. You know, TV8's record this year, Chris, isn't very good. We're two and four after tonight, and one of those was the North-South game. <laughs> but we only count it as a win. And Landon still at quarterback. Workman dancing, and uh, he's going to dance into about six Red Wings and pick up maybe a yard. Yeah. 
Well, the big plays have uh, hurt. In the first half was the fumbled punt, and then we had the 33-yard touchdown right before the half. And, uh, things just did not go well for the Red Wings tonight. Oh, boy. The 20-yard interception return is another one. Wagon South getting some more uh, players in. Call timeout, make sure he's got enough numbers out there. See number uh, 30, Grant Woodland going in the game. Noah Ross, number 75. Luke Steinbrecher. Trotting off is Shane Fultz. He had a nice game tonight. Yes, he did. I thought the linebackers and did a very nice job. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's when maybe 34-7, to 7 and I know we keep yeah. repeating ourselves, but it's been... Uh, hey, they're going to see those stats in the paper and think they got crushed, but I'll tell you, they played a heck of a game tonight. The defense did well, I thought. Yep, and uh, just a couple miscues on offense, but, you know, and then, you know, they were put in a situation where they had to throw the ball, being down like they did, but uh, I saw a lot of nice things tonight, and uh, good job of Coach... Uh, here to get some of the, the boys in the game. Van Landon puts it on his hip. Oh, he slips by one tackler, gets by another tackler, cuts it back, and he's knocked down near the 30 yard line. I'll tell you, he's not a quitter. He's not going to dance out of bounds. I'll watch him cut it back and pick up some more yardage. Ball spotted right on the 30 yard line. That's a 13 yard pickup for uh, Jody Van Lannen. Finally, Ashwabanon with six minutes left decides to get some fresh people in there. Carry the ball a little bit. Van Lannen still at quarterback. This is dad to coach. And because of it, there's a delay. I'll tell you these delay calls, if that's what it is. No, motion. Well, how can it be motion? They didn't even get up to the line of scrimmage. Ken, Gal Ken Galomsky is the uh, head coach for Ashwabanon. That's a little... <laughs> yeah. They weren't even up there yet. Wait till I commit the penalty. <laughs> oh, throw the flag. Well, they had 11 guys moving at once. <laughs> Inside handoff. Ooh, that, that young man runs hard too. It wasn't Pierce. And it's an unknown player. Check him in your JV games on uh, Monday nights. <laughs> Number 35 is not on the roster. But we'll put him on the stat sheet as gaining yards. Picked up about three. Second down. Actually, give him four. Mystery man is the deep back. No, that's Workman. We do have a new quarterback, though, Chris. Pierce is running, though. Brent Byrell is the uh, quarterback. That was uh, Pierce getting some more yards. What's he, he doing in the ball game? He had some nice carries today. Oh, yeah. He was their leading ground gainer. He has 10, 10 yards this quarter. And, ooh, 35, 38 last quarter. So that's 48 this half to go along with uh, 40 yards in the first half. Oh, Workman dancing through the line of scrimmage and uh, looting tacklers and gets it down to the 15 yard line. Oh, we. Thirteen yard pickup by Workman, and they got the first down. Jeez. Three forty-five and counting in the ball game, and Ash Wabanon is threatening again. Brant Byrell is your uh, quarterback, number five. That's Newsom in the backfield. Yeah, he slips through and he's going to go into the end zone. 
A lot of north-south running on that play, and he took it into the end zone, his long gainer of the night. Takes it 15 yards right up the middle. Runs low to the ground, Chris. He's a hard guy to get a, get a target on. Well, you're going to have the... Uh no, you're not. I was going to say you might get the running clock, but you're not going to. I forgot they missed that extra point earlier. Van Lannan doing the holding. Snap is good. The hold is good, and the kick is good. With uh, 331 remaining, Ashwabanon 40, Red Wings 7. After tonight's game, uh, we have three games left, Chris. Uh, we mentioned we're going to Eureka next Saturday. And then the following Friday, De Pere comes to Sheboygan to play North in their homecoming game, which is uh, pretty late in the season, actually. And then our final game, we actually skip a week. We get a week off. What are we going to do that week? World Series? <laughs> they don't start till December. <laughs> October 27th, Concordia of Illinois visits Lakeland on a Saturday afternoon. That'll be our final game of the year, unless... Uh, I won't be there that day, Marty, so you'll have to get somebody to do uh, that. You know, you're putting your job in jeopardy, man. This is twice now. Once to go to Las Vegas, and now we're... Oh, never mind. I don't even want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know, because I'll let, I'll let my sports fans down. Yeah. Little culture in me this time. Yeah, what are you gonna go see? Uh, play? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> hey, I was in the play in high school. I even had my a name. I got a name. I didn't have a speaking part, but I had a name when they you know listed the people in there. I was Carl and Bye Bye Birdie. My big deal in the play was carry Conrad Birdie off the stage. <laughs> And that our, when, when our play was, it was right during the state championship, uh, state tournament in basketball, and Manitowoc was playing. The guys in the technical crew set up a TV for me up in their control booth. I missed one of the acts. I was up watching the basketball game. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with being in the play, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want calls to carry culture about uh, Mike Martin degrading no, culture. I, Jay Johnson's <laughs> got Beauty and the Beast coming on, the North-South uh, musical in about a month, so uh, now at quarterback is Jake Risto. And his dad is saying, Renzelman, make a play. <laughs> 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 We've been throwing it on the sidelines now for 10 minutes, and the first pitch out to you, you, you can't make the play. Yeah, really, make a catch. Jacob Risto at quarterback, like Chris mentioned. Ooh, Mark, yeah, something something wasn't right there. Mark Sager in the backfield. Andrew Walter in the game. Illegal procedure on the Red Wings. It's going to make it second down at 15. Three nineteen remaining. No, he keeps throwing the ball around the yard. It's going to take forever to get these last three minutes done. I thought the first quarter just flew by, but the third it, and fourth is really. Uh, oh boy. Come on, boys. This is not good. All right, on one. Yeah. Let the other team know, too, so they don't jump offside. <laughs> Did we mention the crew? Brian Andrews on the sideline camera. Eric Wiesman on top. Steve Reiner offering assistance. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials in the truck. And a nice uh, pickup that time by Bannock. Gets it up to the uh, 28 from the 19. It's a nine yard pickup for Bannock. Third down, however, and 11.
Risto under center. Fakes the handoff, drops the ball. Good night. And he's going to be dropped at the 25-yard line. Somewhere under those three white shirts. Loss all the way back to the 20. Ay, ay, ay. Loss of eight. Fourth down, they're going to be punting again. Weed, I believe, is the guy that's uh, back to return the punt. Number 33 for Ash Wabanon. Nice catch by Brunette. Weed has it. He's hit and dropped at about the 46-yard line. Two oh three remaining in the ball game. Ash Wabanon on top, 41 to seven. What do you do here, Chris? <laughs> Can't just take a knee, there's too much time left. I'm just gonna do the old up the middle play. Viral fakes the handoff, does a keeper, and uh, he's gonna get pretty good yardage on this, Chris. He's uh, short of the 35, but uh, got a nice pickup. Ran the ball hard. Call it the 38, picks up eight. Second down for Eshwabanon. Well, I've been, I was impressed by him tonight, Chris. I thought they played real good defense, even though South was able to string together some drives. Fumble on the play. Byrill look, didn't get the center snap. Yeah, they have, and like I said, they have some players, they have some size. They got a nice quarterback that can uh, get it to his receivers. And uh, they are definitely going to be a force come playoff time, as they are traditionally every year. Um, I was fortunate enough to see uh, Homestead High School last year play, and uh, when they won the Division I state title, I mean, holy cow, that's, that's a machine down there. And uh, I think Division I, the large schools right now, they're number one ranked team. And I like their ranking process this year. They went to three uh, for the ranking instead of having seven divisions, which I'm not yeah. a big fan of. I mean, you got... 10 teams ranked and five honorable mentions. I mean, that's 100 some teams that are ranked. I mean, I think it loses some of its uh, luster. Yeah, so I like the fact that they've only ranked, they're ranking three uh, large, middle, and small. And uh, I think Hartford is ranked you know number one. You know what I think one. started all that was the Milwaukee Journal in their Sunday Well, they edition. have an area ranking, but they have a, they do, yes, you're they right. They do a state, you know, right. three levels like that. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. And uh, I think Hartford's ranked number one. And Schwabenon's three. Homestead's up there again. Hartford beat Homestead this year. Uh, but, but that's going to pretty much be the ball game, Marty. Clock running. Oh, actually, it stopped now at nine. Now they roll the clock. Six, five. And that's going to be it for our ball game tonight. There you see Steve Reiner helping out tonight, doing a lot of the little things that uh, need to get finished. But uh, anyway, that's our ball game. Ash Schwabenon wins it. 41 to seven and shows why they're the number three ranked team in the state. And uh, Chris, South just couldn't put anything together in the second, actually starting in the second quarter, but uh, mistakes hurt them. Yeah, mistakes hurt them and big plays, all the things that, you know, there's no question you probably had to play almost a perfect game tonight to uh, defeat Ashwamanon. And uh, I don't know if that was the case, but you can't commit turnovers and untimely penalties and that's what cost you there. But I mean, when you executed, you did a lot of good things and take that momentum with you to next week to practice. And like I said, the playoffs are still within reach. Go for that and go and get it. And uh, we won't see you yet this year unless you're in the playoffs. So uh, I hope that we're back somewhere to go and see you play. Well, hopefully they'll have that spark from tonight and carry it on through the rest of the season to make the playoffs. But with that, for the crew and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.